Sure. My name is Ravan J. Suthasan. I have the privilege of leading Mercer's transformation business globally. Much of the work I do is around the future of work. So I've written four books on the topic and um, uh, several couple of hundred articles on that topic as well. And I also sit on the World Economic Forum Steering Committee on Work and Employment. And much of the work I do is around helping organizations achieve the optimal combinations of humans and automation while enabling the organization and the work experience to be much more agile and fulfilling. Sure. Um, my co-author John Boudreau and I wrote Work Without Jobs because we felt that the world of work was at a tipping point. And the reason we felt that was the growing volatility of the global economy, the rise of digitalization and automation, the changing preferences of the workforce, all required an operating model that was based on skills instead of jobs as the currency for work. Underpinning that new operating model are four principles. The first is starting with the work that exists today and the work that's to come instead of how that work might be organized into jobs. Once we've figured out what the work is, the second principle is about achieving the optimal combinations of humans and machines. And what we've seen and that we discuss in the book is that the companies who lead with the work, as opposed to those who lead with technology, get to much higher order outcomes for their businesses and for their people. They see where the highly repetitive rules-based work could be substituted by automation. They see where human creativity, critical thinking, ingenuity might be augmented by automation. And they also see where the presence of automation might either create space for new human work or demand for new human skills. Once they figured out the optimal combinations of humans and machines, the third principle is about connecting talent to work um, in the most efficient, effective, and impactful way. Whether that's an employee in a job, an employee in an agile talent pool, the use of third-party contractors, what's the optimal way to get the work done? And the fourth and final principle is how do we reduce the frictional cost of work, enabling talent to connect to opportunities across the organization where their skills can best enable them to contribute. So this, what this book is about is about a journey of perpetual reinvention. And I think just as our world is changing quickly, as new automation comes in and is rendering us perpetually obsolete, we have an opportunity to continuously challenge the status quo and ensure our perpetual reinvention. So whether the reinvention of ourselves as individuals or the organizations we lead.